Hi, everybody. How you doing? I am Johan. That is Mr. Charleston Hughes out east, smiling as ever. Today's guest. Yeah, man, because I'm trying to figure out why you got this shirt on. Fuck it. You're not even a bomber fan. Where did you find this shirt? (laughs) First first, First off, yeah, let's introduce our guest. Then I'll get into it, Chuck. Let me do that. Joining us today from the beautiful city of Winnipeg, Manitoba. There you go. For the W, Mr. Jefferson, Willie Jefferson. I was like freaking freezing up. Did you did draw I, a blank? You yeah, forgot? I did. I did. I was, <laughs> I was going to call him Mr. Jefferson. I was going to be the. <laughs> yeah. Mr. <laughs> Willie Jefferson. How are you doing, Willie? How's life? Man, I'm, I'm blessed. There you go. Uh, uh, happy. You know what I'm saying? Glad to be playing football again. Yeah. The last time. Labor Day is here. Is here. Last time we talked to you, you were in Texas, but let's go back to Charleston's question. First thing he sees me and he's giving me shit saying, Johan, what's with that shirt? Well, I mean, we're we're gonna have we're gonna talk in with Adam. We wanted to talk to you. We got on you. Uh I gotta support. I do anything to piss off rider fans a lot of times. Willie is <laughs> I gotta show support for the bombers too. <laughs> but living here in Regina, when I drive around with this shirt on the Labor Day weekend, man, I love it because everybody's like, what the hell? What the hell? And doing that. And this shirt is actually um my friend used to play on the bombers. You guys probably hate him. I know Chuck hates him. But Mr. Dominic oh, Picard? I don't yeah. think Willie played against Picard, though. Oh, no, I don't know. I don't think so. No, he was a center and do that. But yeah, he, uh, when he, after the Riders, he went on to play with the Bombers. And so I got his name and number in the back. But this shirt, as you can tell, is about uh, four years too small. It's tight on me. So I've, I've grown, expanded a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Man, it looks good. <laughs> So, good on you. Yeah, yeah, Willie. Yeah, I like <laughs> he it. He looked confusing because he got an Argos hat yeah. on with a blue bomber shirt. <laughs> well, I got to be able to appease Chuck because Chuck's giving me shit already. So I do that anyway. Willie, how you doing? How's life back in Winnipeg? You got smiles on, you guys. Uh, uh, how's life going for you back in the peg? Man, life in the peg is good. It's easy. It's smooth. <laughs> <laughs> the fans are uh, as they were when we left in 19. You know, it's it's still all love, it's high fives and smiles and stuff like that. But due to COVID, we're doing air high fives and things <laughs> like that. But it's still all love. You know, the, the fans are in it. We're uh, ready to go, giving these guys everything we have. And, you know what I'm saying, they're enjoying it. So it's, it's all good. Yeah. How is it... Uh... Chuck, I mean, how's it been in TO for you ever since uh, you've been there? How's life been for COVID? I know COVID's cases are starting to ramp Man. up in Ontario. Yeah, I mean, it, it was good being in, being here in Toronto, I guess. The only thing that made it kind of strange is because I'm in this huge city now. And I've been in, like, semi-small cities, you know, my whole career in the CFL. And now, boom, I'm in this major, large city where they charge overpriced for rent. <laughs> and and I mean it's like I said it's cool man you just gotta take it how it comes I guess so <laughs> Willie's probably going I told you you should have came to Winnipeg I told you you should have yeah. <laughs> yeah. he went from Regina they had a room they had a room for me in Winnipeg man <laughs> yeah. they, could, they couldn't Willie. put us back together <laughs> Willie how do you how are you uh, looking forward to this weekend's game? It's another game. You're back, going to be back here in Regina. I know you had some good years here and, and probably have lots of lots of fans that still love you here in Regina. What's it like every year coming back here? And then, I mean, your your most recent win, semifinals last year, right? And then doing that, I got to rub it in all the time. I mentioned that. <laughs> Western final, baby. Yeah. That was the final. Well, final, yeah. So how is how do you look forward to this? How do you look forward to this Labor Day weekend coming up? I'm excited. Uh like you said, man, I had some of my some of my better years in uh Regina with, with SAS. It's always fun to go back and you know be back in uh Mosaic Stadium. The fans are always crazy. Blue or green. Uh the love that I get still, you know, going into Mosaic Stadium with my bomber with my bomber gear on and things like that in the city. 
people recognizing me and things like that when I go to the mall or, or out to eat and things. So it's it's all love. I love going back to Regina. That's one of the places that I that I really am excited about going back to being back from COVID uh, 2021 season and things like that. I can't wait to go back to uh, Mosaic, see the guys, see the stadium, see the fans, the uh, atmosphere, things like that. It's Labor Day. Yeah. It's gonna be crazy, man. Like this is what we've been waiting for. Six, seven hundred, seven hundred and so many days since the last time we've been in uh Riderville. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Pills in the pills in the country and all that stuff. And we trying, we trying to see all that. We want to see all that. There you go. There you go. Is there any place here, Willie, that you um come here and you gotta go? Like I know a lot of players from BC, the the one coach, Kelly Bates, he goes right to Italian Star Deli. For those sandwiches, um, you know, when you come here, is there any place you go uh, for food, or is there any place that you go afterwards for a drink or anywhere? Like, I mean, a lot of the chorus. Dave Dickinson is known for going to the casino as soon as the game's done. Put on his backpack, he's off to the casino. But is there any place, Willie, really, <laughs> that you um, like coming here as soon as you hit the town? As soon as I hit the town, there's two spots that I for sure have to hit. Is so I have two food spots and I have two spots just just like you know uh Regina spots that I was going to most of the time when I played for the Riders. Number one is I'm gonna have to pull up on my guys at 22 Fresh at the store. Yeah. And uh see how those guys are doing. They uh been looking out for me a little bit since I've been away from the uh the Riders and things like that. They still hit me up and we we uh collab on some things. And I have to go to my nail salon. It's a, <laughs> uh, a nail spot. I got to go get my feet done the day before. <laughs> if I can't, so COVID restrictions and stuff like that, I'm going to have to see what, what's going on. But if I can, I'm going to go to my uh, to my nail spot. My little nail tech lady, she used to get me right while I was in uh, while I was in Regina. And uh, probably just go to to the mall. That's a spot that I used to always, you know what I'm saying, hang out at and then go probably go get me some food from uh from the kid. I had the the pleasure of meeting the the manager and things like that over there at the kid. He's cool people. Even when I came over to the bombers and things like that, he uh looked out for us and stuff like that. So I'm gonna have to go check him out and see how he's doing. You know, so yeah. That's awesome. Chuck, what about you? You're coming here in a few weeks. Is there any place that you're going to be? Are you going to be doing your nails too before the day before the game? Sure, too? I might, pedicure, I might manicure. Need it. You know, these, I got old feet, so I know <laughs> I need my feet. <laughs> you know, the old man feet. They don't be cute now. Oh, gross. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, man, you got to keep them things nice. Speaking of that, I just clipped my toenails too, like about an hour ago. So I might be good for a while. <laughs> <laughs> and you were... I don't know. You know, one spot one spot that I did like going when I was in SAS with Memories. You know, Memories always took yeah. care of us. And they don't really yeah. care about... Yeah. They don't really care about, States. you know, being yeah. on the Riders or being on Winnipeg. They're fans of the CFL. And they, you yeah. know, they showed me a lot of love every time I came in there. And Memories is one of those spots that, you know, <laughs> what you got to go to. And then... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll second that. Thomas and Nick over there are two guys that uh, they, as soon as you get in there, they welcome you. Um, like Willie, you said, their steaks are phenomenal. They're, That's they, they're what? The dessert. Yeah. When Nick, have you ever seen that when he um, flambés it? That one dessert when he's sitting there and he flambés it? Oh, yeah, it is delicious and doing that. But Memories is a must when you're coming into Regina. There you go. There's your plug. I think they got ranked uh, the eighth. Uh, in the, the eighth best restaurant in Canada recently also on like TripAdvisor or something like that. They had a really fantastic um, uh, rating there. So yeah. shout, shout out to how many, memories. They put down good food. How many people are coming to Regina on a, on vacation? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you lived here. You saw how many people come by. <laughs> 15. I, I, I <laughs> See, that's the thing. I lived there. I only worked in Regina. Well, oh, okay. okay, yeah. Time to go home. I was on the first day smoking <laughs> out of society. Well, that's cause, that's because you didn't like your winters. I, think, I saw your pictures. I think I was. I think I was like one of very few people that actually lived there. Lived there. <laughs> yeah, Chuck stayed here for a long time and do that. But I saw 
Willie, I saw your pictures on Twitter. When, when uh, your reaction when it snowed in Texas, man, if you couldn't handle the snow in Texas, you sure as hell couldn't have handled the snow here in Saskatchewan. <laughs> hey, but I made it work, though. Yeah. I survived. Yeah, yeah. Well, ask Charles, I, ask, ask Charleston about his winter here when it was minus, fi- minus 45, Chuck, and your car didn't start, and we're outside trying man. to boost it. Ask Charleston. <laughs> Willie, it was minus 45 and the car wouldn't start. We can cancel the day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking like I've never heard a car when you started it go. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got it today. <laughs> Cost that not- day. <laughs> and oh man and and charleston he was like man it's too cold out i said dude we got to keep on going and he's like it's too cold out it was minus 45 in the wind and he was just like yeah yeah willie was in texas just smiling and laughing at us and doing that but nice where's the hot cocoa <laughs> yeah yeah charleston was drinking a lot more than hot cocoa that night i think you're into the whiskeys and bourbon <laughs> first things first but uh Chuck, what's uh, how's your feeling going into your first Labor Day in Hamilton? How are you looking forward to that? I don't know, man. I haven't got the full the full on experience yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is, I, know, I know from. what's going on <laughs> over there. <laughs> he, went from the, he went from the battle play Alberta to the banjo bowl to to battle for the QE. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Out of the QE. See, see, he know he know more than I do. I ain't even know that. <laughs> you didn't know the that battle. The, all up. <laughs> Chuck, what do you think? What, what's the QE? What's the QEW? That's the highway. That's the main. That's Hamilton and Toronto. Oh, see, I... yeah, this is my first oh, time man. hearing that. So. We are going to take over hey man, the QEW. I was almost, I was almost out east. <laughs> man. You know, I was, almost, I was almost out east. That's right. You, uh, Willie, you almost signed in Hamilton, right? Yeah, almost. Yeah, you guys, you all, you flew your family down there, right? You and your wife and your two daughters. Oh, I just thought they flew, they flew my family down there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so tell me about that. Why didn't you sign with Hamilton then? Was it that close? Love blue and gold. <laughs> you like the blue and gold, yeah. I love it. W, w is for Willie. <laughs> there Ooh, you go. Shirts, shirts coming soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you better get the royalties on those shirts, man. Yeah, you better get the royalties. We'll work on that for you, and then do that. But Chuck, what do you think? What do you think about your first Labor Day game in Hamilton? Obviously, you don't know much about it. If you don't even know the battle of QEW. Know. Like I said, man, I don't know. I don't know much about it. You know what? My focus is on winning games, and man, I'm still I'm thirsty for a sack. I ain't got this. Is the first time in maybe eight years <laughs> <laughs> that I ain't just ran off with the sack race. And look, Willie just shaking his head. <laughs> I'm just thirsty I'm for it. So <laughs> We know that uh, Derek Dennis is chirping you pretty good there, Chuck, about not Man, having any. Derek, Derek Dennis, I, you know one thing that I dislike? I dislike when people talk from the sideline and got <laughs> stuff to say on what's going on in the sport. When, hey, you ain't out here seeing what's going on. You're not on my team. You're not, you, you, I ain't went against you, so you don't know what's going on. I know, I know I pay attention to the dynamic of the league and how the league is, and I already had my projections on you know what the sack leader is going to be, and I feel like I still got, I still got, you know, my eyes set on that goal. But you know, it's just a slow start. What can I say? Uh, uh, uh. And slow start, like like they say, man, they come in bunches. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah, one hundred percent. I think you just got your first one against us, didn't you? Yeah, you feel me? They come in bunches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you cracked that. Awesome. We're supposed to get we're supposed to get a couple against Calgary, but you know what I'm saying they're going quick pass against your boy, so it is what it is. Yeah, speaking they of did the same thing to me, I I could have told you that. Speaking of that, okay, let's talk about Willie. What um you know do you go into a game against Saskatchewan? You know it's Labor Day. You know you're going against the Riders' offense. Chuck just 
touched on that with the, you know, they might be doing quick pass. Uh, what's your mentality then going into this Labor Day, uh, knowing that the riders are probably knowing that they're going to key on you to be able to, to, you know, they're around their offensive scheme. What do you do to be able to counteract that, knowing that, okay, they know Willie Jefferson, they know your skill set, they know your dynamics, the tall, the rush, hands up in the air. How do you counteract that coming into a big game like that here in Regina? Just keep, just keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? They gotta stop it. That's that's the key. You know, what I'm saying? I I know they they know me. They got they watch they watch film on me. Yep. Just like I watch film on them. So uh, their objective is to stop me. Just like my objective is to you know you know what I'm saying make it hard for Cody to do what he needs to do. And that's that's as as simple as it's gonna be. You know what I'm saying? Until they stop me from doing what I need to do, I'm just gonna be causing causing trouble, doing what I need to do, doing what I'm always doing. Do you have, Period. do you get any uh, more pleasure when you get a sock against the riders and Cody? Do you have any Almost. more? <laughs> yeah. He got my own, he got my own number. So it feels good to put that number. <laughs> Cody know what's up. He you know what I'm saying? Me and Cody cool. Yeah, you know man. Saying? Me and Cody cool, man. It's all competition and, and you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. But you know what I'm saying? When we play ball against each other, it's 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 uh let the best man win. I'm trying to put him on his back as much as I can. Yeah. Yeah. Chuck, what about you? Did you but, get to... But Cody's but Cody's such a nice guy though. <laughs> you don't feel bad just to That's what I'm putting him on his back. Cody, <laughs> Cody good He good people, but at the end of the day, you gotta put him down. You got to, cause if you don't, he gonna he gonna it's gonna he gonna make it. He's gonna make it hard for you. He's gonna make. He's gonna make. He's gonna make the day a long day. So you know what I'm saying. Get to him. Get to him early. Get to him often. Put him down as much as you can, and stay in his face as much as you can. Make it hard for him. Make you know what I'm saying. Make it hard for him. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so Chuck, you just said, you know, Willie should feel bad. You just broke Bo Levi's leg after game one. Did you feel bad about that? She was fluid. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> I love the way you guys stand up for each other and be able to do that. But <laughs> yeah, man, it, it was it was one of them plays where I, you know what I was trying to play fast and I wasn't trying to hurt nobody and I tried to hold him up, but yeah. I even told him I tried to hold him up. It, it's football though; it's the name of the game. So I mean, you got to take a hit, you know, whether it come late or come soon. You still got to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Still got him. <laughs> oh Lord! All right. <laughs> Did you say anything to Bo Levi after the game, Chuck, or no? Uh, no. He messaged me and told me that he, he uh, that hit that I put on him, he, that I might have hurt his leg. But I was like, look, man, I ain't really trying to hurt you. I was trying to hold you up and and make contact, but don't take you to the ground. Yeah. And and you know it's unfortunate that it happened that way, but you know what? Like I said, it's football, man. Things happen in the game that that you don't want to happen, or you don't, you know, intend on inflicting injury to nobody. You hope everybody can make it through the game safe. I mean, everybody prays before the game and hope each other for health and safety on the field, right? So it's just one of those things where, my bad, bro, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah. Willie, then, uh, so you're coming into Labor Day game here, you guys, uh, important game out of the West. What's um, how's your team been to be able to overcome adversity now? Because you guys, this is going to be a first place matchup. I think everybody kind of agrees that BC is not going to be there. You know, Edmonton, they're they're not even playing. You know, and be able to do that. Um, Calgary, no, uh, I think we can write them off. You and the Riders, you got two games now back to back. What's your mentality going into these games? <clears throat> win. Well, I mean, what it, 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 we don't need to do nothing more than what we what we been working on. And at the end of the day, all we need to do is win. Win this game, win the next game. We know at the end of the, we know coming into the season that going against Saskatchewan was going to be our test for the season. You know, we played them so many times in nineteen close games. Came down to the uh, the final, the Western final. Yep. Close game. 
we got to, it's going to be the same thing this year. And all we need to do is just focus on winning the game, focus on being the, uh, the better team. And then once those, once the game shake out, we can, we can, we can figure it out after that. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be two, two good games that people do. I know that we've always, everybody here in Regina has been looking forward to these games after the first Riders three, no start. Everybody was saying, but it's not Winnipeg. It's not Winnipeg, and it's not Winnipeg. So it's going to be definitely an, an eye test for you guys. And same thing with you, Chuck. I mean, you guys, even though you're, uh, you know, off to a decent start, you guys play a Hamilton team that that's hungry, right? So what's your mentality going into that game, back to back against Hamilton? They were ranked number one at the beginning of the year. They were <coughs> the favorites to win the Grey Cup. Um, what's Toronto's? What's your mentality going into these games? That's that's the one thing about the CFL, man. You don't never know who gonna win. It's a, it, it's it's an open a open door for that championship every single year. You never know what team's gonna you know flourish at the end and make plays. But you know we kind of in the same boat as Winnipeg right now, man. We're battling for that first place spot. We can set ourselves you know apart from the rest of the league if we win these next two games. We know Winnipeg's kind of in the same boat that we're in. And then right now it's like a battle of the West, battle of the East kind of kind of, you know, week right now. So the thing is, is like you said, you gotta you gotta win. <laughs> if we if we win both these games, we're setting ourselves up very good. So you gotta do what you gotta do to to come out on top. Yeah, nice. Nice. All right. Well, we're gonna uh, take a quick break. After this, we're gonna come back. I wanna hear more about Winnipeg from Willie Jefferson. I wanna Heck oh, yeah, yeah. Winnipeg love Willie, man. I feel like Winnipeg love and Willie love Winnipeg. Winnipeg. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know more about Winnipeg, Willie. I want to know who gets more. Did come on down to Winnipeg? We will. Trust me, we will. We, we got. See, I, I know he got that on all kind of twenty-two fresh shirts. Come on down, to <laughs> got Winnipeg. It. Hey. <laughs> Willie Jefferson 22 Fresh collab coming soon for Labor Day. There you go. I want to be able to know more about Winnipeg. We'll talk more about the 22 Fresh. That you are and you and you a fan of Willie Jefferson. Go get you some 22 Fresh. Look at that. Okay, we'll be uh, we'll be right back after this break. Hi, my name is Rob Peterson. I'm the broker owner of Realty One in Regina. Real estate. And life is about great people, and that's why I'm associated with Charleston Hughes and Johan Zielinski and IKS to sponsor the Better With Age podcast. Realty One was founded in Regina 11 years ago. It's an independent brokerage, it's local, and it's full of great people helping great local Regina people buy and sell properties. It's entrepreneurial based, which means you have non-narcissistic agents that have your best interest in mind, not their own. In these coronavirus times, real estate market right now in Regina and Saskatchewan is thriving because people are thinking more local, they're not thinking about traveling because we can't, and that's driving our market. When you hire a realtor, no matter who it is, no matter what company, please interview them, please make sure they're a good personal fit for you because that's what this is all about. It's good people connecting themselves with someone that they know has their best interest in mind. And that's what the Realty One family does and that's what a lot of agents in Regina do. But make sure you take your time and find the best fit for you and your family. It's that time of year when divisions are decided, champions are crowned, and legends are born. Now, it's your turn to win big. You've heard the name just about everywhere, my bookie. They're the industry's leading online sportsbook and casino, and it's not hard to understand why. With thousands of lines to bet on all your favorite sports, NFL, NBA, and college ball, check, check, and check. MMA and soccer, they've got all the latest odds, period. Take advantage of MyBookie's prop builder and live in-game betting, where every single run, throw, and touchdown is another chance for you to put cash in your pocket. Visit their mobile-friendly website today and get your deposit matched halfway up to $1,000. Just use the promo code when you make your first deposit. The best part is they make it simple, with a variety of ways to deposit instantly, including credit card, bank transfer, Bitcoin, and more. Whether you're at home or on the go, on your laptop or on your phone, it's not too late to make your New Year's resolution a resolution to get paid. Bet, win, and get paid at my bookie.
And we are back with the 22 Fresh Ambassador. I love to see it. I like what, you know, the most thing I like is when, I like when players go out and represent themselves, represent their brand, you know, get connected with the community and, and partner with a business or partner with somebody where they can collab together, they can do business together. You can always represent your own brand and not just the team's brand. So Winnipeg, yeah, that's fine. That's always going to be there. But the most important brand is Willie Jefferson. So when you out there representing Willie Jefferson and partnering with 22 <laughs> Fresh, that's amazing. Look at that. There we go. We got <laughs> Model <laughs> Willie right now. Here we go. Model <laughs> Willie Jefferson. So, Willie, tell us more about this collection. What's going on? You, you got the million-dollar smile right there. Doing that. Tell us more about this uh, collection with 22 Fresh. Oh, no, it's just, you know, it's just something that uh, me and the guys, the people, I don't want to say the guys because it's some, it's some ladies over there yeah. with the with the company as well, but with the with the people over there, 22 Fresh, you know, uh, since I left Regina, the, uh, the Rough Riders and things like that, I've, I've been in contact with them still and things like that, and they just uh, want to show me some love just because, like, every time I come, down to the city, I'm always in the store bringing guys from the team into the store, just, you know, buying shirts, hoodies, shorts, whatever. Just something, just because, like, I like the material, like the clothes, like the way it fits and things like that. So they just, you know, hooked your boy up, got me got me right with some 22 Fresh gear. We got something coming out for uh for this year, for the spring, you know, for, uh, for Labor Day and things like that. And like I said, if you're a fan of me, fan of the company 22 Fresh, Holler at them. They out there in Regina. You can go to the mall and pick something up from the middle of the mall as well. You know, we got it if you want it. There you go. I, I'm And, Willie, I'm going to be the, one of the first in line to go because I know their store is right off Albert Street. We can go down there. And is it going to be available for this weekend's game? Do you know? They should. They should have it. I got something like yeah, I got something that I'm wearing down there uh, for the game and things like that. I don't know if they have this uh, particular outfit in the store. It's a hoodie and the uh, and the sweatpants uh, thing. So and then, if you can go in the store, I don't know if they posted it on they on their Instagram or not. So if it's out there, it's out there. Well, well, I love it. I love it. I like it. This is uh, this is gonna air on Wednesday after the Labor Day game, but it'll be right in time for the Banjo Bowl. But uh, what, oh. we, what, what we can do is we can make sure we do some stuff on Twitter and, and Instagram and uh, uh, show Willie some love for his 22 Fresh and get that out there. And uh, Charleston, I'll, I'll send you a double XL from, uh, from Regina here. I'll send it out to Toronto for a, a nice... I'm cool, man. As long as they ain't got all that, 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 that Winnipeg blue on there and all hey, that, man. that Winnipeg stuff. <laughs> get you a nice uh uh blue and white 22 fresh shirt don't worry we got it for everybody we got, it, we got colors for everybody. <laughs> he is he is a salesman hey eh? willie's just talking up and doing that i love it too man makes me want to go out and buy 22 fresh so blue you see this nice powder blue we get this you know what i'm saying you uh it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm, with, I'm with it, man. I'm with it all the way. I told you, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of players that brand themselves. Uh, you know, I've, I've always made it an effort for me to do that. My whole entire career is to try to brand myself, try to go out there and, you know, find find my own my own things that I like to do or I want to push the uh, my fans or create my own persona, I guess you could say. And I think you've done a, a wonderful job of that. Willie, what else are you doing? Are, yeah. you doing, are you doing? Are you doing anything else? Because I know we all know the CFL isn't a way that you can make a, a living for after, right? You can't just retire on a CFL salary. I mean, a lot of guys can't, right? So you got to think about football after. Is this something you're gotta thinking? Got to throw, throw your money in that pinch. Yeah. I mean, but are you, are you thinking about doing this afterwards too? Are you thinking about, you know, teaming up with them? And is this something that you would recommend to other athletes to start to be able to, like Charleston said, brand yourself and try and uh, make more money? I recommend any player, you know, any player, rookie, you know, you know what I'm saying, seasoned veteran or somebody that's about to get out the game. If 
can't. It's, it's never too late to start branding yourself. It's never too late to start branding yourself. And right now, with the way social media and things are set up, this is the perfect time for you to start branding yourself to get yourself out there for life after football. You know, they want to see what you're like when you have things going on. So when you have the free time to do the stuff that you really want to do and you get to be yourself, like if you want to if you want to get paid to be yourself, why not be yourself, you know what I'm saying, and get paid, and you know what I'm saying, while you're out there, like, you know what I'm saying, like while you're in front of a lot of people and things like that, building your fan base and stuff. So I feel, I feel as anybody that has that the fan base, that has fans, that has a back any type of social media outlet, you you should brand yourself. Why not? Yeah. Especially when it's out here giving, giving, you know what I'm saying, giving things away or, you know what I'm saying, I want people to try things out for free and, you know, stuff like that. Why not? You know, why not get your, put yourself out there to, you know, be the next, you know, uh, brand ambassador or person on a billboard or on the, on the cover of a magazine or, or, or a company's, you know what I'm saying? Brochure or something. Why not be that person? Yeah, you have to. I think right now that's the way to go, Willie. Is it? And time's gonna fly by, right? You're gonna be like Charleston. You know as well as I do. Um, time flies by. I ain't no, I ain't no spring chicken. <laughs> so, <laughs> by the time you're done, if you don't take advantage of it now, it's gonna be gone, right? You don't want to waste that opportunity. What else are you doing then, Willie, in Winnipeg? Tell us about the peg and. Any other businesses out there that you're connecting with? Any bars that you're going out to that they say, you know, that they bring you in or arrest? No bars? Charities. No. Charities. Charities. That's a no-no. Charities. That is a no Okay. No. That is a no Any restaurants then? No bars. There you go. Good no call. No bars. Uh, okay. Oh, no. That's good. Okay. Uh, but what am I doing other than football out here in Winnipeg if – uh, other than football, I, like I said, I'm, I have my fan art uh, clothing brand. You know, I'm, I got it all on my Instagram and stuff like that. If you want to buy some uh, phone cases, uh, hats, uh, muscle shirts, T-shirts, hoodies, sweatpants, all that, go to my fan art page. I'm doing uh, personal video messages on Cameo. I'm doing personal video messages uh, through the CFL on Mimo. I am a certified uh, CDL driver, so I got my commercial license to drive uh, trucks and stuff like that. But I'm not doing that uh, because it's football season. I was doing that in off season, so. Uh, but you know, if they're not here, man, I'm uh, in Winnipeg. Outside of football, man, I'm just I'm just doing like the little the little regular day stuff. That stuff because it, it pretty much uh, works on its own in the background, and just just taking care of my family, man, enjoying this uh this time I got with my wife and my little girl back in Winnipeg. You know, uh, a lot of the friends are happy that they're back out here and things like that. So when we get to get a chance to go to like to the grocery store and stuff like that for the little time that we are in there. Grocery shopping, you know, they, you know, sitting there smiling behind their mask and things like that, waving at us and stuff. So it's just, it's just, it's just good to have the uh, the vibes be so positive uh, right now with everything going on. So and does yeah, your man. does your uh, does your daughters love uh, Canada? Obviously, they must miss Texas. But uh, how do your daughters like Canada? Uh, my little girl, she, my little girl really likes it out here. She really likes it out here, uh, especially when she gets to be around some of the uh, other kids, uh, some of my other teammates' kids and things like that, especially Yosh, uh, little girls, and, uh, and Junior. And then uh, being around uh, my coach, my coach, uh, little boy, and things like that, just having an uh, opportunity to just, you know, and be a kid and just have fun and stuff and not just be in the house playing on a tablet or watching TV yeah, and stuff like that. So uh, just, just having a safe environment for her to just go out and, and, and have fun and, and, and be a kid and just the same thing for my, for my, for my wife, you know, like for her to get out the house and, you know what I'm saying, get some fresh air and be around some people like my, like 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 her like minded yeah. and just and just conversate and just and just be able to talk and you know what I'm saying be a be a human 
You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody wants to stay in the house and just watch TV, be on your phone, be on your uh, your tablet and stuff like that. You want to you get out and interact with people, especially with people that you that you know and you uh, were able to grow and, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah. COVID's, COVID, Build something. COVID's really made it tough on that, and that's the thing. I think uh, we had a great time. We were in Toronto for the game against you guys. And uh, Chuck, tell us about how your wife and your kids loved. Uh, did they enjoy Toronto? Man, my daughter is a little hater. <laughs> Kylie is a hater. <laughs> do, Willie, do you know Kylie is a Hamilton Tiger Cat fan? I did not know that. She, <laughs> I, I, she, she I never, she, she never rooted. She never rooted for me in Sass. Never rooted <laughs> for me in Calgary. She's been rooting for Hamilton since day one <laughs> CFL, since she started realizing that what football was and what teams are. And the only reason she root for Hamilton is because of the Oski Wee Wee Oski Wah Wah chant. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> That's the only reason why. And <laughs> so <laughs> you can't even get your so daughter she, to so cheer for you, Charleston. What? Even when it was time for me to get get her a jersey, get the fam jerseys and stuff like that. She was like, yeah, I don't want one. <laughs> <laughs> so she won a Hamilton jersey. But did they? Kylie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, you, you don't even know how to put that. <laughs> that's my girl. Girl. <laughs> that's great. Don't leave me. She oh she's hey man she need to get her she just need to get her uh get her Oski Wee Wee sign and y'all of the day <laughs> yeah <laughs> now you got a chance this weekend Charleston to go get her that and get your sign for your oh, yeah. in a minute in a minute we beat Hamilton I'm calling her and I'm make sure I rub it all in her face but she'll do me the same way now nah. my daughter acts very much like me so she's she's yeah she's quite the my character girl, but yeah. very competitive very competitive. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder where they get it from, eh, Willie? I wonder where they get it from in doing that. Well, um, <laughs> Charleston, anything you want to say then uh, to to Willie before we go? Uh, I don't know, man. That's just we just wanted to get you on the rap for a little bit. So good luck in this Labor Day game. Put Cody down for me. Get him, get him all nice and warmed up so I can come get him after y'all play him back to back. Then I can come right on top and. You know, stack it, mm -hmm. stack it one more time because I got them right after that. So set it up nice. Let me see all the moves. And, and by the I'm way, a, I, do, a... I do. Go ahead. I'm going to put some good film on tape for you. <laughs> yeah, put some good film on tape for me so I can see what should I do. Set me up. You know, I watch film like no other. So I'm going to be watching now. I'm going to be paying attention. And, and actually, you have been rushing your ass off since you've been in Winnipeg, too. I don't know if I got a chance to tell you that, but I've been watching and watching the moves and your get off and, you know, what you're doing on the field. And between you and Jeff Cope, man, y'all, y'all something to reckon with over there when it comes man, to pass see, rushing and getting to the quarterback. You, you see these, you see these double teams and triple teams I'm getting down. <laughs> Hey man, you know what? I know I mean, I've be. told you. I've told you since day one. The I double didn't know teams. It was be. Yeah. I <laughs> you got to find a way to work through it. That's all I can tell you. Work through it. No, just ignore the double team. Just keep keep grinding. Now I see why you. I, I see why we got to jump the snap now. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way that you guys can just talk ball and just give each other advice and say, yeah, this is going to happen. Willie, uh, anything anything you want to say before the two games uh, against the Riders? Any, I want to say, before before I get off, I want to say thank y'all for, for hitting me up. Chuck, I know it was last minute, but you know, if you call me and you want something, brother, I'm here for you. Always, you know what I'm saying? You're like a big brother to me. And go ahead and have you a blast this weekend against Hamilton, man. Go ahead and get your go ahead and get your sack. Go ahead and get your sack race started. You know what I'm saying? I know it's been I'm crazy. Shooting. 
you know what I'm saying? It's 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 gonna get going, and you it it is no better weekend to get it started than this weekend in the hammer because next weekend y'all come right back to y'all crib, and y'all fans, y'all uh, environment and things like that in Toronto, man, it's totally different. It's changed, so y'all 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 feed off that, and y'all go ahead and handle y'all business and run it up on the east because we done playing y'all, we done playing Hamilton, so y'all go ahead and run it up and knock these boys off in the East and get first place so we can go ahead and see y'all in the Great Cup. Man. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something if we all meet up in Hamilton on December the 12th? I feel like you're speaking into existence right now, Johan, with that shirt and that hat on right now. <laughs> yeah, is this an early better with age prediction that I'm going to be wearing? Well, <laughs> actually, you know what? I'm going to be wearing Willie's 22 Fresh shirt um in hamilton with this argo hat and then doing that so i'll be showing some love for both of you guys and doing that but willie good luck you're you're if not if, if the one thing that i've learned from um uh, willie you know, when you're on the riders and now that you're on winnipeg and you're always kind enough to join us is that um like you said last minute chuck texts you up and says hey come on our show no problem you are a fantastic family man uh, a great teammate and a guy and a great ambassador for Winnipeg and the CFL. So you're one of the guys that, yeah, exactly. The W has always got the W there. Uh, it's always a pleasure talking to you. Good luck. Beat the crap out of the riders. That's coming from an Argo fan. There you go. Good luck this weekend, Chuck. Hell yeah, kick they ass. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck, same to you, buddy. Good luck in... Uh, Hamilton, good luck down in the QCW uh, doing that and uh, win that battle, man. Heck yeah, that's no problem at all, man. That was great having him on right there. Willie, that's one of my guys, man. I appreciate him a lot, especially when we played together. Even when we played together, he a good teammate, man. So you can always appreciate good teammates, especially when they can come and show up for your boy just like that on the spot and put on a good show. There you go. There you go. So, uh, <laughs> Chuck, you want to say anything else? The famous last words? I think I think that's it, man. I think that was a great show. I think we finished strong right there. Thanks for all the fans who are watching. Thanks for all the listeners. Thanks for all the people out there who support us the most. Just to let you guys know, we got some great things coming out pretty soon. For Breast Cancer Month, we're going to be releasing a, a shirt for Better With Day shirts. You know, a lot of the proceeds are going to go to breast cancer, so make sure you pay attention to those. They'll be coming soon. Thanks for having us. Thanks for watching us. And I'll see you guys soon. Go Argos.